Alright, so before we get uh, to my final thoughts on this campaign, I just want to say that I appreciate all the support you guys have shown me for doing this, and uh, thank you for that. Uh, also, I want to make you guys keenly aware that um, I'm going to be very frank with this part of the, uh, the series, I'm sharing my final thoughts on the campaign, so... If we, I'm trying to think of a nice way to say this, I'm probably going to say some pretty mean stuff, and if that's something that you're not comfortable with, then you might want to just stop this video right now and walk away. But if you are willing to sit here and continue to listen to what I say, then I, I appreciate your efforts. So, anyway, um, my final thoughts on this game, or the, the campaign itself. Uh, if this is what a balanced game looks like, then a balanced game of this type is, well, for pussies. Um, the strategic AI is a joke. I wiped out two fractions, or I'm sorry, two factions with allies, and uh, all their allies did was sit on a massive mountain of materials, some with like maybe a million, a million and a quarter materials. Um, it just sits there and waits till you declare war on it. And the uh, alliances mean nothing to the AI whatsoever. I mean, you guys saw this yourselves. Uh, the Twin Guard didn't do shit whenever I attacked the Steel Empire. And uh, when I went to attack the Lightning Hoods, the White Flares just kind of sat there until I declared war on them. Um, and you could just raffle stomp your uh, enemies all day in this, even if they are allied, and there will be no fucks to be given. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't spend the resources that it has well either. It. It doesn't bother to entrench itself with fortifications or even have some kind of response force in reserve. If the AI just does not spend its materials widely, or wisely, over and over again, I was able to capture resource zones with a little to no resistance. I was able to time and time again triple an enemy's economy before they sent out anything of worth to stop me. Um, there may have, may have been like maybe one instance that I can think of where I was somewhat concerned about my force but overall I, I just didn't feel like the AI really has it in itself to try to stop a, a veteran player. That's kind of what kind of the feeling that I'm getting from this and <laughs> I just find this extremely insulting to us when we've just endured just one bad update after another just a bunch of stuff that I personally never even wanted and after suffering through all that crap then they they hand us this pile of garbage and it, it's it's just insulting because it's like the devs care more about their damn spreadsheets than their vet veteran player base, which basically made from the devs what it is today. So in summary, I just want to say that uh, Nick Smart Strategic AI acts like it was delivered to us on a short bus wearing a helmet for its own safety. The bar has been lowered so far from people that we're starting to trip over it. With all that said, I will continue on to my Onyx Watch campaign with some hope that it was just the Ashes the Empire campaign itself that was lackluster, and we shall soon find out. So, once again, I want to thank you for watching this series and supporting me. Uh, this is Damodoc82. Have yourselves a hell of a day, and keep your hammer high. Later.